Hi guys, Osa here. Welcome back to my channel. Did you miss me? Did you miss me? Hi guys, Osa here and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to make my hydrating conditioning hair milk. All right, so before I made this video, I wanted to make sure that I was using this continuously just to see what kind of results I would have in my hair. And then I made my bridesmaid hair video. Um, and I don't know if you guys had a chance to see my hair is flourishing, it's doing really well. And this is what I've been using for the past two months. All right, so I wanted to make this video because I kind of feel like on the YouTube space, we don't really have a place where um, when you're creating like different mixtures um, where people then use it at home and then come back and then drop down how it worked for them. I've been having a really good experience with the rice water and goat milk milk mixture and I just wanted to share it with you guys and then I wanted you to try it and then come back to the video and comment down below how this conditioning hair milk has been working for you. I would really love to have a spot where we can all like collaborate and really get this thing right for our 4C hair. You know, I feel like there's been other companies that have been doing um, this type of research, but it's been, you know, they've kind of been leaving 4C hair out. So I still feel like we've kind of been missing the mark as far as like what works in our hair. And I'm just going to be creating different videos just to test different things out. So, so far I've really been liking the mixture of rice water with mixed with goat milk. I've had phenomenal success and I just want to share it with you guys. All right. So, um, this was my rice water mixture. I let it ferment for about two days and then I added my whole milk. So what I suggest to you guys, not whole milk, I added my whole goat milk. So what I suggest to you guys is um, right before you know you're going to wash your hair like the weekend before, just let do your rice water. Um, you can let it sit for just one day. I was just being a little <laughs> extra um, and letting it sit for two days uh, just because I didn't have time to wash my hair on the day that I actually wanted to do that. Um, but it was just fine. It was just a little bit more smelly <laughs> than usual. So um, you mix it down. I did create the video, so I'll actually let you watch it. So I did want to ask anyone who's watching this video if you might be new or if you're old to subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my recent uploads. All right, so let's get into how to make rice water mixed with goat milk. So as you can see here, I have my mason jar filled with a little bit of rice and um, I'm going to wash the rice and then fill up my mason jar with water. Once that's complete, you're going to cover it and you're going to store it inside of a cool, dry place. I simply put mine inside of a cupboard and I left it there for about a day or two. So being that I was already preparing to make this video, I already have my rice water that's been fermented for two days and it's ready to go. So here's my whole goat milk. I got this off of Amazon and everything will be in the description box for you. Take a clean mason jar and give your rice water a good shake. Then I'm gonna pour this mixture into the clean jar. Try not to get any rice particles in there. Now I'm gonna take my whole milk and I'm gonna take about two teaspoons of uh, goat milk. You're gonna cover your jar and you're gonna give it a good shake. You want everything to be mixed really well. And there you have it. You have your rice water mixed with goat milk. So in that clip, you saw how easy it was to make uh, your rice water mixture. I let my rice water sit for, I usually let it sit for about a day, but um, I had missed uh, the day I wanted to wash my hair. So I let it sit for another day and um, ferment. And then I added my whole goat milk and um, yeah, my results came out wonderful. I actually have it in my hair right now. Um, so you're supposed to let it sit in your hair for about 30 minutes and then you're going to rinse everything out. So being that we're making this product at home and we're not using any preservatives to um, prevent it from growing like bacteria and everything like that, those things can really make you sick. Um, that's why I'm really, I, I try to um, inform everyone as much as I can that you need to wash this product completely out of your hair because you don't want to have any scalp infections. You don't want to have any um, problems going forward. Okay. So even if you feel like you've gotten it all out, just rinse it, rinse it, rinse it. It's really important to do that. All right. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you my results.
All right, so this is my hair. And let me tell you, it feels incredible. It feels really soft. Um, it feels hydrated. I have the snapback that I want. And I'm gonna wash everything out and I'll come right back. All right, guys, and this is the result of my hair. So my hair feels really soft, but it also feels um, strong. You know, it feels like it's healthy, it's strong and I'm really pleased with this mixture. So I encourage all of you guys to try it and then of course uh, leave your comments down below how it worked for you and how your hair growth has been going. I know a lot of you have mentioned before that rice water messed up your hair, it felt it was very drying, all of that stuff. So like I said before, make sure that you're using less rice um, in your mixture and um, then try adding the goat milk to it. I find that it's less drying, I find that I find that my hair is looking a lot healthier and more shiny um, and I'm just really pleased with um, how my hair has been growing. So alright, uh, I'll talk to all of you guys soon. Thank you for watching my video and I will catch you in the next one. Alright, bye. Alright, so I did want to show you guys what my hair looked like later that day. I wind up blow drying my hair. Um, I had a uh, video talking about anemia that I wanted to do next, so I just wanted my hair to be blow dried for that. Um, in this video, I'm basically talking about the supplements that I am taking to combat my hair loss uh, issues due to my severe anemia. So I hope you guys will check that out, especially if you're losing your hair. It's very helpful. I'm basically giving you all the tips that my doctor gave to me and I noticed a tremendous difference. So thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. I appreciate you guys so much and I will catch you in my next one. All right guys, and this ends today's video. Thank you so much for tuning in. On your way out, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit that like button. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye now.